Simon Miller from What Culture here with the one and only Molly Holly. Molly, how are we doing today? I'm doing awesome, thank you. Good, well, it's lovely lovely to see you because this is almost, I don't want to say like it's a second coming, but obviously you're back at WrestleMania weekend. But now you're a producer, whichever word we're using these days. I mean, how does it feel to be doing that as opposed to, I suppose you are getting ready for big matches, just in a completely different way. Yes, it's much less stressful to <laughs> not have to actually put my body on the line. All I'm doing is using my brain. It's it's really fun. I'm having a great time. And what have you learned from doing the experience? Because obviously wrestling's great in the sense there's so many different roles that you're able to step into. Is it something you've had to learn or is it just you've gone, oh wait, I know all about this and you can just pass on your wisdom? Well, I feel like the mentoring part comes natural, but when I step back in, it's really the pro wrestling has advanced and I work with the women and they're way better than I ever was and so <laughs> it was a lot of like learning the pace and learning the names of everyone's moves they're everyone's signature things so you know there was definitely stuff to learn but um, but I'm having a great time and that's all that that's what it's all about having and also they will look up to you you must you must get this you know coming across a lot they will see you as a legendary figure for obvious reasons now sometimes what happens in certain elements in wrestling is the old guard don't really understand the new version of wrestling it happens with all walks of life have you found yourself you know being opening to it or you know is, is there anything you're a bit like i don't this is this is crazy what are they doing well things are a little bit different but i want to stay open-minded because the culture as a whole has changed you know even if i watch movies from like the 1980s yeah, yeah. i'm like oh that's a little slower paced than what i'm used to now so i just try to stay open to all of the wrestlers ideas and um, i try to just instill a little bit of wisdom here and there but mostly i'm there like as a support i think it's really important though right especially with a weekend like this again no names but i'm sure you're working with someone this could be their first wrestlemania weekend if they can come to you i'm worried about x i'm worried about y that must almost be like uh, they must become like your children that's a silly thing to say but it must be right yeah I do I consider myself like the auntie backstage <laughs> where it's like I, I definitely can give some words of wisdom I can also let people know that as special as this is that their value as a human goes so far beyond who they are on TV Molly I'm not just saying this we need more people like you in wrestling because but isn't it it's, it's, I get it it's entertainment so much you just judge what we see on a television screen oh they made a mistake there that didn't really work for me and we forget that they're human beings and they have a heartbeat and they have feelings everybody forgets about feelings especially in a social media age I guess you didn't have to deal with that as much because it was still I was going to say yeah how do you feel about it yeah I think that social media is so hard for the women after their matches they check what people are oh, saying man. about them and it's like instant feedback up from the haters you know and I I'm really glad that I didn't have to deal with any of that sometimes if someone had a rough match I'll say do not look on your Twitter just like take a day to like reevaluate the big picture before you go dive back into the social media because it's true because everyone makes mistakes in all walks of life you just don't have someone pointing through your window going you made a mistake uh, just one last question about your own career when you look back now I mean, how do you feel about it? Because again, you have sort of segued back into professional wrestling and you have, you know, to mention what I said earlier, had so much love and so much people saying, well, you know, Molly, we loved your, you know, we loved everything you did. Has it kind of made you really reevaluate how you see yourself within wrestling? I would say that I found myself at the, at 2005 being a little bitter and jaded. Um, I really just needed a break and now that I've taken a break I feel so complete in my career I feel like I've accomplished everything I'd ever want to I feel no need to get back in the ring <laughs> or you know like I just I'm really happy being backstage and supporting the next generation I love it also Molly go around best finisher ever no, no one's stolen it why has nobody stolen it you know um Reggie might steal it. So <laughs> so stay tuned. Next time Reggie wins a match, it might be the Molly go round. There we go. There's your scoop. Molly Holly, Simon Miller. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, you, you want to talk about the link right now? Well? That is going to be in the description now there. Make sure you support Molly Holly and her charity. All money is going to a good cause. And that's why you're a very, very nice person. And we appreciate you very, very much. Thank you. Goodbye.